Good morning and good afternoon, everyone. This is Financial Literacy 101. This is a money rip. And if anybody doesn't know what a money rip is, this is kind of this a spinoff of me just complaining about something dealing with money. Okay, it has nothing about uh, financial information. Well, you will get financial information from a money rip, but it's basically me complaining. Price gouging. Okay, a man, a buddy of mine talked about price gouging as I'm going to Whole Foods. And I'm not saying Whole Foods does price gouging. I'm not saying that at all. But you know, during this pandemic, there has been a lot of companies, corporations, um, um, stores, retail stores have been price gouging. Now, some people say, oh, well, the price serve went up um, because of supply and demand. Shipments are down. So essentially, I'm already like, OK, so you guys are increasing the amount of supplies because it's a high demand for them. But you have X number inside of your um, inside of your inventory. OK, we understand there's a lot of things that's going out of um, that's going off the shelves. They're not replenishing them as quickly. Price gouging. Now, <clears throat> price gouging can be reported to your state attorney general's office. OK, price gouging can be reported to your state attorney's general office. It is illegal in most states. They cannot simply increase the prices of products because they just feel the need to increase their profits. They have to be a, a, a very uh, a, a professional and, and, and business decision behind that, meaning that the company has increased the, the prices to manufacture an item and or there is a lack of supply, which in some in some terms, they have the wiggle room. They have the uh, legal authority to increase prices at certain increments and certain fractions. But some stores, especially. <laughs> especially convenience stores. Now, if any of you ever been to convenience stores, you guys totally understand you get charged a convenience fee. So let's take, for instance, a bag of chips. You, you, you go in there and you buy a bag of chips and a bag of chips is $2.30. Where though in the store, that same bag of chips, same size, same brand, same flavor, it's a dollar and 80 cents. They are charging you a convenience fee. And on top of that, not only is the bag of chips more expensive, then on, on your receipt, they charge you an additional fee sometimes they actually have convenience fee because you don't have to go to the supermarket. You don't have to go to the grocery store. This is what I hate about living in a superpower that's also a capitalist society that some stores based upon business and, and supply and demand, they have the ability and the legal right to price gouge. But anytime we are flourishing, the stock market is up, there is no pandemic, there's no recession, depression, then price gouging is illegal. Now, got it. Those who can afford it will continue to buy it. But think about it like this. If there's a shortage, like in Florida, there was going to be some tropical storms. So everybody is running to the store like they always do and buying up all the paper towels, disinfect food, whatever. This is a perfect time where companies and organizations price gouge. They increase their prices. So take, for instance, you, you know, your favorite your favorite snack is $3. But during price gouging, what they do is they charge you $3.25. Most people, most people, if that price is around $3.16, and maybe you buy it every two to three weeks, you're really not going to notice that it went up 10 to 20 cents. Only those extreme shoppers, those extreme savers understand price gouging. So this is what I hate. And this is what I, I tell people during the time of great peril, during the time of chaos, organizations and companies, they use fear as a vehicle to make more profit. They use your fear. Remember when the, the pandemic first happened and the first thing that went off the shelves was toilet paper, paper towels, hand sanitizer, bleach. Now, I got the bleach, I got the hand sanitizer, but why toilet paper? Some people are like, oh, they're making uh, um, uh, uh, disinfectant wipes. And I'm just like, why would you make a disinfectant wipe out of this? I mean, you get what I'm trying to say? So this whole narrative of price gouging, a lot of you don't really track it. You really don't understand how price gouging really decreases the amount of money you have coming in your pockets.
You really don't understand that. And you have to report price gouging to your state attorney general's office. Okay, I know in California, they even have a penal code, whatever the number is. But a lot of states have these codes that price gouging is absolutely illegal. And I know some of you during this time, you're not paying attention to nothing except paying your bills, getting food for your family. But these are the little things I like to give videos on because we need to be aware of what's going on and how these corporations are getting richer. OK, um, so the, the, the financial plan came out for Apple, Google, Facebook and Amazon. They are two hundred billion dollars richer. They are two hundred billion dollars richer. Google, Amazon, Apple, Facebook. Why is that? Because during any sort of depression, recession, pandemic, a down market, these corporations know how to make more money and they use fear. They use fear. And I'm not saying these companies are evil. I'm just saying they're marketing to what you give them. When they see the people in the public and communities frantic about what's going on, they use your fear to make more profit. Now, your local stores are the, are the culprits. They're the main driver in price gouging. Your local stores. You go to your favorite store. You get your fabrics to make your covers. You, you're going to your grocery store. You're going into your container stores. Whatever store you may go into. These stores price gouge and they need to be called out because during a time like this where people are buying more stuff because we're staying at home more. You're like, oh, that's right. I, I You know, I got all this extra time. I need all these things to do. Now I have the time. Why do you think things are going up? Now, granted, I do put a disclaimer out there. There's a lot of things that are not in stock. And then there are a lot of things that are being increased in price because the, the demand is high and the supply is down. But let me tell you this. Have you guys seen vegetables, fruits? Have you seen a decrease in price? Let me know. Please leave a comment. If you've seen a decrease in the price of vegetables and fruits, please let me know because guess what? I know you guys all seen the CNN special and all these other news reporting that farmers are literally burning their crops. They're burning and they're burying their crops because they're producing at the same rate that we once did before, but we are now consumer less vegetables and fruits. So they're literally burning their money away. But let me ask you this. Whether you go to Safeway, Giant, Food Lion, Kroger, Whole Foods, whatever your local grocery store is, QVC. Are the prices of your, of your fruits and vegetables decreased? Have they decreased? Because if they have not, is this a form of price gouging? Why are you charging me the same amount when the supply is high and the demand is low? Price gouging. Price gouging, because you get used to a particular payment. you like, you know, when I go in here and I get my three cucumbers and I get my two bell peppers, it's $6. Then when you look at the news, like, wow, they're burning vegetables and fruits because not as many people are buying it, but most people are staying at home. So you don't connect that, well, why are my fruits and vegetables still the same price? Just because, you know, the price stays the same does not mean they're not price gouging. So I didn't want to bore you with this information. I just wanted to make you aware and where you can report this at is your state attorney general's office. OK, your state attorney's general office. Price gouging is illegal. And just because they keep the price the same and the supply is high and the manufacturer is charging them less is price gouging. And why is this important right now? Why is this video important right now? It's important because we have less money and more time. This is Financial Literacy 101. Learn money and be inspired. I'm out.